The Trojan Football Report is presented by Montgomery Regional Airport Connections. Convenience, the rest is easy. Fly Montgomery. Troy University. Since 1887, Troy University has educated the mind to think, the heart to feel, and the body to act. If you are called to serve a greater purpose, visit troy.edu. And by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't have the yellow tag, you don't want it. Glad you're with us for another season on the Trojan Football Report. I'm Barry McKnight with head coach Larry Blakeney. Trojans open up the season with a thriller. Overtime win over UAB 34-31. Gets the Labor Day weekend started right and certainly got the season started off right too. Coach. Well, it really did, Barry. Uh, you know, I, I expected it to be a, another one of those Troy UAB games. It certainly turned out to be UAB well coached. Garrett McD McGee's done a great job with that program. Uh, Good looking football team. They played well, they played hard, and they made some plays on us. And we were able to fight back and take advantage of a couple of kicking game things and really turned, uh, g gave up a serious kicking game uh, uh, kickoff return. And uh, But uh, they were ahead the whole game to the very end. We finally tied it and got in overtime and had a great special teams play on a bobble snap and on their field goal attempt. And then we had a big run by Deion Anthony. Uh, to set us up uh, in real short r range for the field goal, and we trued it up, and and uh, and Will came through and kicked it right down the middle. Down ten at halftime. We'll talk about that in a little bit uh, of detail. But you guys had to come through some some of that adversity. They showed you a little something. Well, they right? really did. You know, they they, uh, they had a good plan against us defensively, mm -hmm. and going you know bend but not break, not give up anything big. We wound up getting one big ball to to Eric Thomas, but. Uh, uh, you know, Corey was on cue and, and uh, really sharp and threw the ball well. And Dion gave us some good plays, mm -hmm. as did a couple of young running backs. Corey Robinson set an NCAA record 30 of 32 passing in the game. He was certainly on, spot on during that ball game. We'll let you take a look as we take a look ourselves at our first half highlights. Set to kick it away for UAB as Ty Long. It's underway the 2013 season. He'll settle in in the backfield with Robinson. Quick out goes to Anthony. He looks for a block in the 20. Step to the 25, 30. Get a block to the 40. Through to the 45, 15. He's off to the races. To the 40, to the 35, 32, 31 yard line. Big play for Anthony right off the bat. Third down and eight. Motion for Burks. He'll swing it out to him with a blocker in front. Burks sidesteps one man to the 20. He's got the first down. He's to the 10. He's to the five. Pushed out of bounds. Far boundary inside the three yard line by Kelton Brack in the cornerback. And the Trojans have a fresh set of downs at the two yard line. And, we and Wilson Van Hooser looking now. Here's a draw play to Burks. Wonderful call. Touchdown. Men of Troy. Ten yards out. Brandon Burks had nobody around him on the Trojans capitalize on their first possession of the season. The right side to the left side for the offset position. Brown will swing it out. It comes to Reeves. Spins out of one tackle. Takes a big hit at the 34-yard line. He may have lost a yard. That started at their own 23. Brown on play action. Looks straight now. Flushed out of the pocket. Rolling right. Throws on the run to the end zone. Single coverage over there. And his man makes the catch. Just out fights the defender for the ball. Ethan Davis was there. But Jamarcus Nelson Yanks it down, touchdown UAB. Midway through, a little bit further than midway through the first quarter. Play fake, Brown goes downtown, looks for his man wide open there for the touchdown for UAB. Anthony the senior is the quarterback with Burks in the backfield. Here's Burks on the outside, races past the linebacker, 30, 35, 40. They gang tackle him at the 43 yard line up the near sideline, caught at the 44. That's pickup of 19 for Corey Robinson. Robinson straight back to throw, rolls up, throws over the middle, got his man complete. This is Edenfield. He's in the UAB territory and is spilled at the 44-yard line by Calvin Jones. Now with Brown out for the second consecutive series, it's Jonathan Perry. And to get to Franklin, left side, hit in the backfield. Nicely done by the Trojans. Losing yardage over there. Terrace Lewis, a redshirt freshman linebacker on the weak side out of Linden, Alabama. Makes a terrific play. Loss back to the 32-yard line. And now from 50 yards out, out of the hold of Mullins, angle is right to left. Snap down, kick is away. It's got the distance. And he got it. So a 50-yarder from Long at the horn. And UAB leads it by a score of 17-7. 
Stay with us. When we come back, we'll talk with Troy Senior Safety Chris Pickett one-on-one -on, -one on the Trojan Football Report. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. The beautiful city of Troy welcomes you to visit and see what Troy has to offer. Historic homes, the Pioneer Museum of Alabama, Pike County Lake, Troy University, state-of-the-art sports facility, Alabama Bandmasters Hall of Fame, public golf course and tennis courts, and first-class accommodations. Troy, Alabama, a wonderful place to live and visit. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. Back again on the Trojan Football Report, we're reviewing Troy's 34-31 win over UAB. We love this portion of the TV program, and that's when we get to go behind the scenes and give sort of an insight into some of the players on your program that I know you are proud of. And one guy who's been a productive player, and that's Chris Pickett, your senior safety out of Crestview, Florida. Well, he, he, is, a, he is a very good young man, a bright young man. He has played a lot of football already here. Uh, you know, and I'm very proud of him. We'll talk a little bit more about Chris later on in the program and his performance and in the UAB game. But first of all, let's go behind the scenes and find out a little bit more about Troy senior safety, Chris Pickett. Chris Pickett, Crestview, Florida, senior safety. I mean, it's been a lot of changes. Pretty much this year have been the most changes that we have because we getting a, like pretty much a new staff. Coach Parker still, he's been here for a while. But he's learning a lot of new stuff, and we all learning a lot of new things that Coach Coach Bolt wants us to do. And I just feel like um, as the year goes on, we got we got young guys out there. They get settled in. This is their first time playing. This is their first time playing college ball, and they pretty much they got to get settled in. So pretty much the beginning of the year, we're gonna have them. We're gonna have them growing pains. We're gonna have problems with second. We're gonna have problems with coverage, with busted coverage. But as the season goes on, everybody catches on to what we really want to do and what Coach really expects out of us. And it all comes together. I feel like I matured a lot. I feel like being have, having to play my freshman year had made me have to mature faster than some of the guys that came in with me. Some of the guys that I had that came in to me in 2010. It's pretty much just been in this program for three years already, going to our last year. Uh, maturity helps. Maturity helps a lot on that field. Oh, I love it. I love I love uh, coming back and we we seen we seen the fight song after the game. Pretty much, I mean. It's, it's hard going through a season where you don't hear that fight song being played over and over and over again. We just, we just want to get, we want to get back to hearing that fight song every game. We got to be about business. Every game, all of our players have to be about business. Up next, we'll take a look at the highlights of the second half of Troy's 34-31 overtime win against UAB on the Trojan Football Report. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. 
To become a champion, you have to make smart choices. Choices like formulating a plan, setting goals, working hard, staying disciplined, and being an example to others. Take travel choices. I choose to fly from Montgomery Regional Airport. It connects me to my destination, gives our region's economy a lift, provides fast personal service, and the rest is easy. I'm Coach Larry Blakeney. I fly Montgomery. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. So coach, let's get some insight. At halftime, you're down 17-7 at home after an early 7-0 lead. What's the message? Well, we, we uh, really had not played that uh, badly. Uh, we had given up a kickoff return for a touchdown, missed six tackles. Uh, I think we had, uh, had given up at least one long ball mm -hmm. uh, in the passing game on a busted coverage. And uh, uh, But, you know, we were down by, by 10. and. Uh, and uh, so it was time for us to kick off again. We had to get them on their end of the field and had to get, uh, get uh, something going, get the ball back and get rolling. And, uh, you know, as, as a game, it, what, nothing happened really fast, but I mean, we stayed with our plans on both sides. I thought our defense played awfully hard with a lot of emotion. And basically in the last three quarters, we gave up no scores on defense. And, and, uh, and uh, as I remember, the rushing was very low and they're a very good running football team with a great running back in Reeves, in my opinion, and uh, big, strong offensive line. So, but we we uh, we did some really good things. We made a few mistakes, errors that cost us uh, in the early stages of the game. But as the game went along, uh, we got better and better, and uh, we got a couple of big uh, special teams plays ourselves mm -hmm. in the second half. And and actually set, set us up for the win in overtime. Yep, came down to the stretch. The Trojans got a critical touchdown late to force overtime, and then Will Scott hit the game winner. We tell you that, we preview that. We'll let you take a look yourself as we look at the second half highlights. And he'll settle in off the left side, and the handoff goes to Reeves off the left side. Hit hard, down he goes. Big hit by, again, the young freshman. That's the middle linebacker, Mitchell Rowland, to make the play. Look. Great drop back for Brown. Time, time. Now he's flushed out. Here comes Tyler Roberts. Play fake to Chung. Robinson wants to throw to the end zone. Looks for a stand. Tyler's. He's got it. Touchdown. Men of Troy. Eric Thomas of the Trojans with his 18th career touchdown reception. Best among active Sun Belt Conference receivers. Robinson gets the play call. Here comes the snap back. Here comes a twist along the front. Robinson's got time. Throws to the far side. Chun. He's got it at the 10. Out of bounds at the 8 yard line. Jordan. Sean. Snap down, kick is away, and it's an easy three for the Trojans. Handoff goes to Chun. Chun spurts to the five. He's to the three. He's in. Touchdown, men of Troy. First of the Trojan career for Jordan Chun. The 33. Troy faces a fourth and three down seven. Robinson wants to throw. Throws to the end zone. Looks for a man. He's got it. That's worthy. Worthy inside the five. Stumbles to the two. Are you kidding me? From the one-yard line, Anthony is the quarterback. Motion across Williams. It's a late developing play. Anthony dives into the end zone. He's got it. He's through the pile and in. Touchdown, men of Troy. At the end of four quarters, it's Troy 31 and UAB 31. We'll have a chance to have the ball from the 25-yard line. Out of the hold of Mullins. Straight angle. And he mishandles the snap. He mishandles the snap. Mullins is swarmed under back at the 30. That was a low snap. Mullins could not lift it, and they never get it away. The Trojans will have a chance to win it here. Sent back beside him is Jared Lee. 
Well, Robinson will take it himself. He'll run to the middle of the field, and he'll make a big old swan dive. Yeah, that's just all positioning there. From 30 yards to win it. The snapper is Kendall Gibson. The holder is Brett Thiessen, the man of the hour. Here's Will Scott, snap, kick, away. It's got loads of distance. He got it, he got it. And this one belongs to the Trojans. Will Scott from 30 yards out is the hero. And Troy comes from behind in the fourth quarter to win in overtime. Your final score, Troy 34 and UAB 31. This one belongs to the Trojans. The Trojan football report continues with a visit with Troy assistant head coach, outside receivers coach, and special teams coach Shane Wasden. That's next. Stay tuned. The beautiful city of Troy welcomes you to visit and see what Troy has to offer. Historic homes, the Pioneer Museum of Alabama, Pike County Lake, Troy University, state-of-the-art sports facility, Alabama Bandmasters Hall of Fame, public golf course and tennis courts, and first-class accommodations. Troy, Alabama, a wonderful place to live and visit. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. Back again, as promised, assistant head coach, outside wide receivers coach, special teams coach Shane Wasden. Shane, you're in your 10th year, games like Saturday where you win it late. Those kind of victories, they, they kind of tax the heart, but they never get old. Do they? <laughs> oh, they're tough on a coach. I tell you, I like to win them by a little bigger margin than that, but uh, that was the way we won that game, I think, was great for our football team and uh, the, the character of it and coming from behind like we did down 14 in the fourth quarter. And, our guys never quitting and, and uh, uh, stepping up to the, to the challenge and, and end up winning that thing in overtime was huge for our football team. You have, of course, so many hats that you wear with the program. Let's talk a little bit about the special teams because good and bad, positively and negatively, there were a lot of things that were involved in that game that played a critical part in the outcome. Absolutely. You know, we, we gave up the, the big touchdown on the kickoff return. Uh, we missed four tackles on that thing and, and uh, gave up a big play there. but. Uh, uh, really on special teams that was the, the, the only negative we had all night and uh, uh, our guys played well for the most part. Uh, our snappers, uh, Kendall and uh, Gibson and Hunter mm -hmm. Graham and uh, Brett Thiessen had a new holder and, and uh, if you don't think that last kick was, was pressure now just, just huh. look what UAB did you know, on theirs. You know mm -hmm. they had the errant snap and the holder couldn't get it down and, and our guys go out there and act like vets and uh, get it down and we'll knock that thing through so uh, and then we also had the the punt where we we had the heavy rush on and, and caused them to to uh, mishandle that thing and, and that was a huge play in the game too because we got great field position we we're able to go down and score uh, the tying touchdown. Let's talk about the wide receivers. Corey, boy, he threw so well. He set an NCAA record, 30 of 32 through the air, and he had some guys. I, I thought the route running was crisp. I thought the timing was really, really good with your guys. Well, we have a, a veteran group of guys, so yeah, we didn't expect anything less than that. And uh, of course, Corey, he's, he's always been solid for us and just, just a tremendous player and uh, has become a great leader 
uh, for our football team. And, and uh, you know, our, our wideouts know that, that they can get the ball on any given play, which is huge uh, for them because they're going to play hard every snap thinking they may get the football. So right. uh, that's a big part of our offense, spreading the ball around, and, and Corey does a great job with that. Now you've got, of course, a uh, couple of weeks, and you've got a couple of compacted games in there. That's bound to be taxing for the Right, kids. we'll play uh, two games in 11 days, I believe it is, and uh, Savannah State coming up here. And, uh, this next game, they'll, they'll be athletic and have a lot of speed on the field, so we'll have to be ready for that one. And then the short turnaround for the Thursday night game up in Jonesboro playing Arkansas State, that's going to be a huge game as well. But, uh, you know, we never want to look by one to the next, so Savannah State's our next opponent, and that's who we'll be getting ready for. I know you got a lot of work to do. Thanks for the time. Thank you, Barry. Shane Wasden with us. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Trojan Top 5 Big Plays for the Week. That's when the Trojan Football Report continues in just a moment. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. To become a champion, you have to make smart choices. Choices like formulating a plan, setting goals, working hard, staying disciplined, and being an example to others. Take travel choices. I choose to fly from Montgomery Regional Airport. It connects me to my destination, gives our region's economy a lift, provides fast personal service, and the rest is easy. I'm Coach Larry Blakeney. I fly Montgomery. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. Back again on the Trojan Football Report, I'm Barry McKnight. We go to our Trojan Top 5, the Top 5 Highlights, Critical Plays in Troy's 34-31 overtime win against UAB. Play fake to Chun, Robinson wants to throw to the end zone, looks for his man, Thomas, he's got it! Touchdown, men of Troy, Eric Thomas of the Trojans with his 18th career touchdown reception, best among active Sun Belt Conference receivers. From Anthony, he'll settle in in the backfield with Robinson, quick out goes to Anthony, he looks for a block in the 20, step to the 25-30, get a block to the 40, through to the 45-50, and he's off to the races, to the 40, to the 35, 32, 31-yard line, big play for Anthony, right off the bat. Robinson out, Anthony in, second down, five from the 11-yard line. And off goes to Chun. Chun spurts to the five. He's to the three. He's in. Touchdown, men of Troy. First of the Trojan career for Jordan Chun. An 11 yard run. And the Trojans get the touchdown they absolutely had to have. Trojans need to get across the 30. The running back is Burks in the backfield with. Corey Robinson from the 33. Troy faces a fourth and three down seven. Robinson wants to throw, throws to the end zone, looks for a man. He's got it. That's Worthy. Worthy inside the five. Stumbles to the two. Are you kidding me? From 30 yards to win it. The snapper is Kendall Gibson. The holder is Brett Thiessen. The man of the hour is Will Scott. Snap, kick, away. It's got loads of distance. He got it. He got it. And this one belongs to the Trojans. 
Will Scott from 30 yards out is the hero. And Troy comes from behind in the fourth quarter to win in overtime. Critical win for Troy over UAB on Saturday. And boy, it could have um, a great residual impact for your club. Seems like they'll be a lot more confident heading into a stretch. Uh, a couple of games compacted with uh, Savannah State at home and then a Thursday against Arkansas State. Well, you know, it's easier to coach them after a win, no question. And uh, I, think we, I think we grew a lot as a football team. All three phases uh, learned about ourselves and we'll, we'll continue to do that this week and practice and hopefully play well, uh, even better against Savannah State. Ernest Wilson is a head coach there. He's a very experienced guy and he's only been there since June. So he's really had to go to to, uh, put an organization together. I expect them to be a lot better between their first game and our game. And uh, then you look to Arkansas State, Brian Harson's the new head coach there, came from Texas, was a Boise guy. And uh, you know, I, I know that they uh, certainly, uh, they, they got, uh, they played uh, Auburn and, uh, and won against uh, Mississippi Valley or uh, I think. I think it was Arkansas, Arkansas Pine, Pine, Pine Bluff, excuse mm -hmm. me. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it'll be, they, we, they've gotten us the last couple of years and we really need to put our best foot forward for that one also. But we, so first things first, Savannah State, and then we'll have to, we'll have to go right back to work uh, on Arkansas State for a Thursday night kick. I know the fans are interested in, in, in the protocol for guys like Chris Pickett and Wilson Van Hooser, guys who, who yeah. left the game against UAB. This is a very, very serious thing. Yeah. And you and your staff take it seriously. Well, it's two, two really, uh, really, uh, tough blows that they took. Uh, of course, the, the young man that hit Chris was ejected and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Wilson was hit maybe by a knee of a guy coming over uh, trying to get involved in the play, uh, an accidental type thing. And uh, uh, we, we're going to hold them both uh, all week and try to get them back to normal levels and hold them for the game and then try to see if they're ready to to uh, contribute for the uh, Arkansas State game. That's the head coach of the Troy Trojans, Larry Blakeney. Coach, good luck. Thank you, Barry. We hope you get a chance to join us as well next time for another edition on the Trojan Football Report. For more Troy Athletics, find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Trojan Football Report is presented by Montgomery Regional Airport Connections. Convenience, the rest is easy. Fly Montgomery. Troy University. Since 1887, Troy University has educated the mind to think, the heart to feel, and the body to act. If you are called to serve a greater purpose, visit troy.edu. And by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't have the yellow tag, you don't want it.